Uh, Africa 2.0 is a uh, collection, is a community of Africa's youth, uh, rising youth, uh, rising leaders within uh, the youth who are tackling some of uh, the continent's pressing problems. So it's very exciting for me, very humbling and very, um, very privileged to be here because I watch you guys from afar. The issue of youth has become critical for many reasons. In my personal view, I think the agro-related industry is the most important uh, element in many of the countries on the African continent. How do we develop the value chain so that young people can actually take advantage of, of the opportunities in agriculture, the agribusiness part of agriculture? Let me give you a number of statistics. The, so one study showed that the average age of political leaders in Africa is 61. And the average age of presidents in Africa is 75. The average age of the youth leaders of youth wings of political parties is 50 55. <laughs> Where is the space for the youth? The average age of farmers in Africa today is 55. So the youth are voting with their feet outside the rural areas. I'd like uh, Dr. Zonia to add one more figure, one more statistic. What is the average age of an African citizen? 19. One more figure. Uh, the, <laughs> the median age of a Boko Haram fighter is 17 years old. What is the average income of a Boko Haram fighter? It's around three dollars. Boko Haram fighter, who is 17 years old, earns more than the average uh, African. What we are saying now, we are facing a crisis for which we are not prepared. We, are not, we don't have funds for, for our army. We have extremist terrorists. Even the, uh, uh, the developed countries some, some, sometimes are not, uh, are not facing well those issues. As long as the young are not involved in politics, then we will not be able to make any difference. There's two things that we need to think about. One is strategy and one is tactics. If we get the youth politically engaged, they're the ones who can make changes, who can demand change and who can tilt systems to get to where we want to get to. Whether we're talking about youth, or we're talking about women and girls, what we're really talking about is inclusive growth uh, and economic transformation. You cannot advance our economies and our societies by leaving half of the population behind. I can tell you that you know, the people we have in Africa are as good as anybody else we have in, in the world. To add the uh, science and technology diaspora and the talent that Africa already has leading exceptional uh, efforts in different environments abroad. We need policies to promote small holding irrigation performance now. There has to be a concurrent movement of independent thought that exists particularly at our universities and in our high school leadership. We have the opportunity to, to look at how technology can actually enhance Education. We should actually look at leadership development in this particular sector because many of them actually are going on to become the future leaders in a lot of structures in our society. I think that we need to invest in critical thinking of our youth in terms of the narrative that's out there. Africa is rising, but who is Africa rising for? Don't say how to. Say let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this.